Hey guys, Alka here, and I have some bad news. Not necessarily for my channel, it's just bad news for me, and I did want to share it with you guys. Um, I could say it the way I can say it. One of the ways I can say it, and it wouldn't mean anything to you, but I'm going to just tell you the, the back story a little bit. Um, for the last... Well, ever since I got my 3DS, I've been playing all my DS games on my 3DS, and I haven't really used my regular Nintendo DS much. So, I've been using that as my alarm clock. Now, three years ago, when I was in Oxford with my class, someone accidentally stepped on the bag, like in the front part of the bag where my DS was, which broke a little part of, um, well, the right side of where the top and the bottom screen are connected. I thought, oh shit, that's broken, can never um, repair that again. I'm gonna get rid of this fly because it's frustrating me. It'll fly away. Anyway, um, yeah, that was somewhat annoying. I thought, ah, I have to be really careful, can't really use my DS the way I um, originally planned to, like the normal ways. I have to be really careful every time, not just careful like I am, because I'm definitely careful with my stuff, especially if it's expensive. Um, but my, I showed my dad, and with um, a piece of iron and some really strong glue, he was able to put that iron around the place where the top and the bottom screen were connected by that little thing, and he actually connected them back. So it wasn't like shaky anymore. It was just secured in place. It like it closes just slightly differently now. It, it, it works perfectly and it's not in the way of anything, it's not breaking anything. Um, that really helped. Um, so I could just continue using it. But as I said, I usually use it just as my alarm clock because I gave my other alarm clock to my brother because I didn't really like that one. Can't, can't actually remember why, but I just didn't like it. So I just use my regular DS. Because besides being an alarm clock, I only use it for uh, migrating G, uh, from G, Pokemon GBA games to the fourth generation games, so if, like, say, from Ruby to Platinum, um, if I wanted to transfer a Pokemon from fourth generation to fifth generation, so let's say Pearl to uh, White 2, I would use my second DS for that. If I would play Pokemon Battle Revolution and I want to use multiple of my games to do a little tournament on that with a DS, I'd use that. Um, but that didn't really happen too often. It's just my alarm clock, mostly. And last week... Um, I guess I'll show you. I have my bed over here. And, well, I sleep here, obviously. And then I have my DS. If I use it as my alarm clock, my DS set up here. I just set the alarm, uh, turn the volume up to max, and close it. Because then the, vo the alarm will still work. And at one time, I wanted to wake up at, I believe it was 9 o'clock. Because I had a lot of time to sleep. Um, but I woke up at, like... Um, quarter to seven in the morning and I felt still felt sleepy and I was just interested to know what time it is so I opened it and then oh 6 45 okay let's close it but since I'm lying here and I didn't actually move from my position I was using my right hand to let, open it a little like that and I could just reach the 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 far end of the DS so I wanted to well, get behind it and just push it down so it would be closed what I actually it, but I didn't really get behind it enough to push it down, so I, I usually do it like sort of diagonally and then push it down because then it gets easier for me to reach. But I just put it pushed a little bit too much to the side or this way instead of down, making it fall that way. And there was a gap between this and my bed. Um, I push it back now because I felt it was shouldn't be there because it can break stuff. I actually wanted to push it back earlier, and, well, I've paid for it now. And then the DS was down there. I looked down there, and it seemed like it was just closed normally. I thought, okay, maybe it's not really broken. But, um, if I could just use my 3DS as an example, I assumed that it was lying down like this. But instead, the front screen, like, the top screen wasn't this way, it was that way. In other words, the thing was broken. Now I'm going to very carefully get my DS out, because I still have it over here. This is my DS. This is the iron thing. As you can see, it's not really connected. Now we look back here. Yeah, this is where it originally was um, connected. And I'm turning it around, looking at the back. 
it originally was connected here. Now look, it's completely loose on that. Completely. The only way it's still attached is through this wire. Originally, when three years ago when it broke, this part was all still attached. It was just um, a part of this that was broken and my dad just put this on. But now it's really just this thing and if you try to open it a little you see um, a wire going through. And if you... Um, well let's very carefully open it because it'll just break because there's a piece down there that is still there it'll break off any second. But it's really just one wire and the thing I just showed you that's still connecting the uh, top and bottom screen. Now I'm going to switch the DS on. It won't explode. The bottom screen will still work. I've, sh I've seen that myself. The bottom screen will still work. Sound works almost normally. And I wonder what would happen if I would turn on a DS game. But you can't really see it because of the light from outside. But uh, let's do my best. Yeah, yeah, download, play, pick the chat. I removed my GBA game and everything. Bottom screen looks normal. Now if we look at top screen, the only thing there, it's a white screen with like two and a couple of blue, sometimes black lines. The connection between that thing, between the two screens is really broken. This was just connectivity to, 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 to hold them together and this was also to hold them together but they all went, the wires all went through this. This is what broke uh, three years ago. My dad was able to repair it. Well, what was broken? Because it wasn't completely broken. Now this is also pretty much broken, so I'm going to have to say goodbye to my trusted friend, the Nintendo DS, the original one that I got. I don't know, I didn't get it on release, but not too long after that. It wasn't a, a combo pack with Nintendogs, because that I felt like that would be a fun game to play, and it would save me some money. I wanted... Um, then the Nintendo with the Labrador um, dogs, and I thought, okay, but the combo, the Labrador dog, only came in a combo with this color of DS. I couldn't have, I couldn't choose what DS it was if I wanted the Labrador one. But what I did, hadn't really thought about the colors. So when I saw the possible colors in that shop, just um, sold separately, I wanted this one. So that was perfect for me. Saved me some money. Had so much fun on this DS, but unfortunately it is now, um, well, broken, busted. I still have my 3DS over here. Works perfectly, works fine. But if I want to, like, um, copy over some Pokemon from 4th to 5th generation, for example, or um, do a DS tournament battle on Pokemon Battle Revolution for the Wii, I'll have to steal um, my brother's DS lights. That's also a little bit... Um, like in the DS Lite, you have this um, little thingy in the connection between top and bottom screen that makes uh, the, the screen able to like take a little part. Like it can hold itself in different positions. My That part is a little broken on my brother's DS Lite. I have to be real extra careful with that, but it still works fine that um, his DS Lite. I can use that. Um, for migrating Pokemon, that is unfortunately not possible anymore. Um, I still have my old Game Boy Advance, my Game Boy Color, and uh, uh, Game Boy, uh, no, two Game Boy Colors, actually, my brother's as well. My Game Boy Advance doesn't really work. My brother still has a perfectly working um, uh, Game Boy Advance SP. So if I want to play GBA games like Ruby, um, Metabots, some Mega Man games that are for the GBA, I can't use my DS for that anymore, so I'll be forced to use my brother's um, Game Boy Advance SP, and he allows me to borrow it sometimes when I feel like doing that. Um, migrating Pokemon um, f uh, from third to fourth gen, for example, um, and like getting special Pokemon on Diamond, Pearl, Platinum um, with Ruby or Leaf Green or whatever inserted in the, into the GBA slot, not possible anymore either, because I, there's no regular DS anymore in this household. Unfortunately, well, wait a minute, the DS slot also has a GBA slot. It was from. DSi and onwards that there was no GBA slot, so I can actually still do the migrating on my brother's DSi. Although, don't really know where the, uh, um, I mean, DS Lite. I don't really know where it is right now, though. But, it's actually still possible, so that works, that's awesome. But yeah, I'm gonna have to say goodbye to my uh, regular DS. Gonna buy, or find, yeah, buy a new alarm clock sometime this week. And, uh, uh I'm gonna miss my DS. Had some good times with it. Enjoyed it for a very long time and 
it wasn't really time for it to be broken, but an unfortunate thing well, made it to be broken. And I'm kind of sad. Although not too sad, because as I said, I only really use it for alarm clock and a little bit things, um, like for the uh, migrating, the uh, transferring Pokemon, the, the Wii battles. I can use my brother's, like, DS Lite and st stuff for that. Um, so it's not too bad, and we can get a new alarm clock for, like, 10, 15 euros, so it's not really that bad. But, of course, it was expensive, and I have had a lot of fun with it, and... Um, yeah. It was actually the first system that I bought myself. Because the um, Game Boy Color and the Game Boy Advance that I got, I remember uh, my parents bought those for me. Yeah, the Game Boy Colors came as a present for my dad's when we were on vacation to France, I believe. And then the Game Boy Advance... Well, I might have actually bought that. Yeah, I think I bought that. Like, just after I got my, um, like my allowance money for the first... That was, like, the first thing I bought with it, I believe. I even spoke with that about my teacher, because I never had allowance money, and then he's spoke about that in class, and then I was like, Mom, why can't I get money? And then she was like, well, sounds good, you can learn how to use money. And I believe my Game Boy Advance was the first thing I bought, actually, with that. Because my brother buys a lot of stuff with his money, and he doesn't really have much left. Most of the time, I save up. I have a lot, and I mean a lot of money saved up. There's not much that I want. Sometimes there's games, a little out of the thingy that I might want to have. I have a lot of money saved up. I don't spend it. I'm very careful with my money, but yeah. Um, I could make, I could talk a lot more about how I use money about my DS, but I believe I've told everything. Uh, if I feel I need to address more things about this um, situation, then I'll do that either in a later vlog or in the description of this video. Um, I, I hope you guys enjoyed watching the video. It wasn't necessarily that I really told you anything like, you really need to do anything with, but I do want to share it with you guys, because I've had great memories with my DS, and it's been important to me to keep me entertained with, with games, because I'm definitely, I, I love uh, playing video games, um, and it all kept me entertained and kept me happy for a lot of years, so it's unfortunate that I have to see it go. I'm going to keep it here for a while, because my dad still wanted to take a look at it, if he could repair it somehow, but... It's not going to be able to be repaired. Like, if it was just the connection between top and bottom screen, like the last time, that, uh, but only this time, it would be a bit worse. My dad would be able to repair it if he really does his best, which would be great. But now that the wires, like, are a tight and a little snap or something, I don't really know what it is, but the top screen doesn't work right. He's not going to be able to um, repair that, so. I'm going to have to say goodbye to my DS. I'll miss it. Goodbye, DS. I'll miss you. Turn off camera. Bye, DS.